tale of a science created monster we present Frankenstein starring Lon Chaney with John Newland and Mary Alice Moore <laughs> all right very well have your laugh you asked me to describe my idea of a perfect human being and I try particularly darling what you described and you're so serious about it the perfect human being should be a giant in size, strong as a gorilla, disease-proof, durable, and quick to learn. Oh, it's so impossible. It is not impossible, and I didn't say should be. I said will be. Oh, does that word make a difference? It probably does. You know, even when Victor Frankenstein was a student of mine, he was brilliant. And since then, he's shown amazing talent. Originality, daring. Thank you, Doctor. But above all, he's always said what he meant. Now tell me, Victor, uh, what did you uh, mean when you said, will be? I think medical science is ready to, uh, to make an artificial human being. <laughs> and he may as well be better equipped for life than we are, no? Since you find this so amusing, Elizabeth, what's your idea of a perfect man? You, darling. <laughs> I think Victor's cousin is trying to answer that question for now, you. there, there's a perfect man. Oh, see how he walks. <laughs> well, we must be going, Elizabeth. You've given us a delightful evening, but we have to catch that train back to Geneva. Please don't rush. Matthew will row you back to the mainland. Will you be coming again soon? Very soon, darling. We'll let you know. Oh, this old castle. Only you would select such a place in the middle of a lake. What was your reason? To get away from me? <laughs> you can't, you know. No, Victor's always liked a quiet place to work. Is that the reason? That, and it's... it's picturesque. And? Elizabeth, uh, you sound as if you thought uh, Victor had, was concealing something. But he's buried himself in this remote place. You can't leave it without a rowboat. It might almost be a prison. Many of these old castles were. Once. Oh, please, darling, finish your brandy. <laughs> oh, my dear. You sound as if you thought uh, Victor was holding someone here for ransom. Oh, no. <laughs> but he won't tell us what he's been experimenting with. You said yourself how talented and original Victor is. Perhaps he has been making an artificial man. He's been so preoccupied lately. Elizabeth. Oh, 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 Victor, I know. She's getting back at you with a little joke of her own. Why do you think I'm joking, Father? Because Victor is a good scientist. He knows where to draw the line between what can be done and what is impossible. But come, we must be on our way. I'm not sure Victor's talent has any such limits. Thank you, darling. That's William playing with my recorder. William, please shut it off. You've been recording our laughter. Why? I've been, uh, I've been recording various emotions for some work I'm doing. For your artificial man? No, 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 please, no, no more of that, my dear. You'll be having me thinking that way, too. And you shouldn't, really, in this uh, 16th century castle. It's too spooky. Come on, let's hurry. I wouldn't want to spend the night here. I hope you're not that anxious to leave. Are you? No, of course not. Take care of yourself, darling. You don't look well. I've been worried about you. Good night, William. Good night.
laughs at the idea of a man being a creator. Well, I have created you. I've made you stronger than ten men. You're indestructible. And now I shall give you life. Now I shall, I shall give you life. If you've learned the world, the world mustn't see you. Not yet. Not yet. I'll come back and we'll teach everything you need to know. Everything. Now. Now.
at dinner. Do you think Miss Elizabeth guessed right? Of course not. Dr. Frankenstein's a very clever man. He's not as clever as all that. No one is. But he's got something locked in that room. His research equipment. It's very valuable. But who is to steal it? No one can get to the island without the rowboat. And there's only one boat on the lake. Whatever he's got in that room, it's not just equipment. Sierra Elise, you're not to be nervous or upset. Miss Elizabeth is just a hysterical young woman. Oh, so you think women are hysterical? Now, now, I didn't mean you. You know how smart I think you are. Oh, you're just saying that to get around. You think all women have no sense. It isn't so. Why, how would I get along without you? And then you meant that. I do. Now, what good would I be alone? Oh, you know oh, stop your nonsense. We have work to do. Uh, let's get our chair back where it comes. Oh, oh. Well, 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 well. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, uh, hey, yes. We shouldn't have away. We go to the main man to get help and hunt it down.
Monster! What did I do wrong? What did I overlook? I'm... I am completely responsible, Matthew. Once I swore that I would... I would practice medicine for the good of humanity. I created a being with no thought of... of what would become of him. No thought of the danger involved. No thought of a tragedy like this. This could all have been prevented. It could have been prevented. I should never have started this. I should never have started it. And now I'll get rid of it. What are you doing? Hurry, stop me, stop my nose. Hurry. It must never happen again. It must never happen again. There are some things that are better left undone. He must be destroyed. Let me go to the basement. Well, there's no time for that. We must do it ourselves. Master William. William. He's alone in his room upstairs. Quickly. Match. My gun. Father, bring me back. I've been so terribly worried about you. We talked of nothing but you all the way here. I had a feeling that something was wrong, that you were in danger. It's over now, Elizabeth. What is, darling? I must tell you. I must tell you. I, I only pray that you'll understand. Do you remember the last time you were here, we talked of my work, of an artificial man, if it could be done, what it would be like? Yes. Well, it was not idle talk, Elizabeth. I created a living, breathing creature. You created? Yes. Yes, now you must believe me. I was thinking only of the scientific achievement, of the immensity of it. I was thinking only of the power of creation. Somewhere something went wrong. Something went wrong. Elizabeth, I created a monster. Tonight he tried to, to kill William and he did kill Elise. Thank God the danger's past now. He's dead at the bottom of the lake. But I had to tell you. I'm glad you did. Matthew just told me. What a terrible experience. It's past now, Father. Let's not talk about it anymore. But Victor. The things you must have learned. I shall never want to speak of it again. Nonsense. This could be the greatest contribution to science and history. You've no right to keep it here. I had no right to start it. But the, uh, see, the, the experiment could be tried again. Surely the... He's at the bottom of a lake. Dr. Franklin, 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 Dr. Frankl
He's back! I saw him! You're insane! He's dead at the bottom of the lake! No! He must have fallen on a ledge and trapped in another window! What is it? It's impossible, Lady. He's come back. Where are your guns? Where are your guns? Bullets won't stop him. I've done my work too well. Bullets won't stop him? I can't know the power and danger of this, of this thing. It's evil and vicious. Now its only thought is to kill. There's only one thing we can do now. Electricity gave him life. Perhaps it will take it away again. William, you have to help us, will you? Yes, Victor. You must be very brave. You and Elizabeth must try to lure him to my laboratory. Victor, this small boy. The monster has the mind of a child. It's, uh, it's direct and very slow. Now, you must be very brave. You must not know we're trying to trick him. Now, listen, you, you play or sing or do whatever you like, but he must not know we're trying to trick him. Your father and Matthew and I will wait in the laboratory. Make your way there. He's sure to find I won't have it. There's nothing else to do. If we don't destroy him, we'll all be killed anyway. Victor's right, Father. We've got to do it. Are you ready, William? Give us just a few moments. And God bless you. Quickly. Are you scared, William? Well, so am I. But let's not let on, shall we? All right. Come here, come here. Hi. There. There. Ah! 